Hey, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Saga and I'm currently a software engineer at Accenture in London. And in this video, what I'm going to talk about is some of the differences that you'll see when writing code in industry to when you're writing code just for your own personal projects or for university things. So let me first apologize for my voice. It might sound a bit off, but that is because of this shit. Look at this. Yeah, hopefully that focus. So the first difference is basically that the code base that you're going to be working on is so complex. And I'm talking about code bases that consist hundreds and if not thousands of files and they make it super tricky basically to find out where the problem you're trying to solve is or you know which bit of the code does what. The second difference we're going to have legacy code in the system that you're going to be working on so you're going to be often there like but why did they do it like this? I mean this is so shit why didn't it just use this new technology and then you have to realize the code was written like three years ago when that you know, framework or something didn't exist. Code reviews, I'm sure you've probably heard about these things and they're basically there to make sure that there's some good quality code being put into the actual main branch. And well, when you think about it, it kind of makes sense because if there's like hundreds of developers working on the same project, you want to ensure there's someone gatekeeping the changes being made to ensure that the changes are actually valid and making sure they actually are the best of the best in essence. So when you're working on your own projects, you're probably just used to coding away, then, you know, pushing it to your main branch on GitHub and it's happy days, there you go, it's all on your main branch. But in industry, what you have to do is obviously create your own branch, then you have to push it, you have to make a pull request, then you have to get like approvals from your code lead and maybe another developer, and then eventually it gets merged to the main branch. Testing and automated testing. This is, I think, pretty much like standard throughout the whole software engineering industry now and if you don't do automated testing or any some sort of testing well then your code is basically worthless so in industry you're going to be expected to have test scripts written basically for any code that you write because there's a saying that says if you basically send any one piece of code and there's no testing involved with it then the code is worthless so whereas if you were to write code at uni or say when you're on your personal project for example and you just you know write some code and you're like yeah yeah it does the job looks like it works numbers come back okay but you don't have any like separate scripts that really automatically test the code every time you push it to github then that's not how it's done in industry that's completely like an amateur way of doing it so to summarize the main bits that i want to say is that if you're writing code at university or say just as a personal project you're going to be able to make much faster progress but the quality of the code and basically the whole code base is going to be worse off than if you were to follow the very regimented but slow process of industry. If you want to see what kind of work I do at work then check out this other video of a day in the life of a software engineer in London and thanks a lot for watching guys see you in another video.